shaken or stirred. Your favorite cocktail could be a Chicago bar's make or break. CBS2 was working for Chicago, telling stories to help you recover. The woman behind a movement called Cocktails for Hope says mixed drinks could save some bars and restaurants, but they can't sell them legally. CBS2's Tara Molina reports on the push to change state laws. From her corner cocktail bar in the West Loop. We specialize in cocktails here at Kumiko. Award-winning mixologist Julia Mimose. I knew that something needed to be done. Is starting a movement. Cocktails for Hope. Currently more than 10,000 signatures strong is an initiative she says will keep the bars and restaurants that make Chicago unique from closing their doors. For bars who have no food sales to speak of right now, this would save them. By pushing for a change in Illinois' laws to allow for the sale of pre-mixed cocktails, single signature drinks for takeout and delivery. Because right now, only sealed bottles of liquor and mixers can be sold. Cocktail kits customers have to put together at home, and that profit margin is tiny. It's hundreds of dollars of difference right there. And as we multiply that and multiply it, the loss is extraordinary on top of the loss that we're already facing. So, with no normal in sight, they're already working with more than 25 Illinois lawmakers to help make this new normal a safe reality our bars and restaurants can survive in. It's time to change and to be prepared for this new future. I reached out to Illinois' legislators who are backing this initiative. You can find more from them in this story on our website right now. For CBS2, working for Chicago, I'm Tara Molina.